everyone, welcome back to Desert Blossom Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a teeny tiny crochet pumpkin. So this tutorial should be pretty fast. We just have a few rows to do and then a stem to attach. This is also going to be part one. I have a slightly bigger pumpkin that I'm using as a keychain, which I will be doing another video on, so make sure to look out for that. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it. So to make this pumpkin, you're just going to need some more suet yarn. Red Heart Super Saver works great. This is another one I had in my stash. I believe it's Mary Maxim Woodlands. So this pumpkin is made entirely with Red Heart Super Saver. And then I'm using a F or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. So today I'm going to be making this as a white pumpkin because I need some in different colors. And we're just going to start by making a magic ring. So the way I make a magic ring is I wrap the yarn around my two fingers and make an X. Then I'm going to bring the loop out and just take this yarn end and come up with a loop. And if you're not sure how to do this, make sure to find a more detailed and slow tutorial if you need it. Then I'm going to chain one and we're going to do six single crochets into the ring. Now I usually find that the first single crochet disappears, so I'm going to do it pretty tight and not even use that one. So starting here, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're gonna take our tail and pull it tight. Now for this small pumpkin, we are not going to join our rounds. We're just gonna continuously work around. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're gonna learn a little puff stitch that we're gonna do for this pumpkin. So in my first single crochet here, I'm gonna insert my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Then I'm gonna yarn over again, insert my hook back into that same stitch, it'll be a little tight. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you should have four loops. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna yarn over and pull through all of them. All right, so that is our first stitch and we're gonna do this all the way around, but we're gonna alternate with increases. So this one is gonna be single and we're gonna do two of the puff stitches in this stitch. So again, insert hook, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through all four. Now I'm gonna go back into the same exact stitch and do that one more time. You wanna be careful because it looks like I caught a little bit of the yarn from the stitch when I pulled through, so I'm gonna redo that. That's one little troubleshooting thing you just wanna be careful of with this stitch. So again, we'll do it. And I'm gonna try to get a clean pull through with all four of these. There we go. So you can see I have two puff stitches in that stitch. And I do apologize about the band-aid. I wish it wasn't so obvious, but I was peeling potatoes and I peeled off a good chunk of my fingernail. So I didn't want to show you that. So we're just gonna repeat this now. We're gonna do a singular puff stitch. And then we're gonna do two puff stitches in the next stitch. One and two. And a singular. And finally, one more increase. So count your stitches at the end of this and you should have nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, and we're good to go. And we're gonna kind of force the work this way because this is gonna be the right side of the work. So we want the more bumpy part going on the inside. All right, so for our next round, what I recommend now is placing a stitch marker. I'm just gonna use this tail And we're just gonna single crochet nine stitches around. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here's our last stitch with that marker, nine. So you can see the work has curled with the wrong side facing out again. So this is the point where once you turn it the right way, it should really stay. Okay, so I moved my stitch marker up and we just have two rounds left. And for this round, we're just gonna do puff stitches now in every stitch around. So there is my first one. And again, we insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. You do wanna make sure this first loop isn't too loose. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. We have four loops. This yarn is a little bit splitty. And then yarn over, carefully pull through all four. All right, so just repeat this around and you should have nine puff stitches at the end. All right, so this is what it looks like after doing those nine puff stitches. And at this point, we just have one round left and we're going to stuff it before we do that. So grab your tail and just pull it to make sure it's extra tight. And then I'm gonna start by just stuffing that inside for the beginning of our stuffing. And then I also just have some other white yarn I'm gonna stuff inside. I actually don't have any polyfill right now, so this is always a good second best. You just wanna make sure you choose a color that won't really uh, show through any of those holes. Not that there's many holes in this, but if you choose too dark of a color, it may show a little bit. Okay, so now we can do our last round. So for this last round, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to single crochet two together. So insert, yarn over, pull up, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through all loops. So there's our decrease. And we're just gonna repeat this, single crochet, single crochet two together. Try to keep the single crochet two together tight. You don't want it to be holy. Okay, single crochet. And this should be our last single crochet two together because these are our last two puff stitches. You can keep that um, stitch marker in if you want to. Okay, and then we're just gonna slip stitch in the last stitch here. And that is it for the body of the pumpkin. So I'm going to cut this yarn. I'm gonna leave it a little bit long because we are gonna add some ridges to the pumpkin. So just about like that's good. So let's fasten this off and then we'll finish this. All right, I threaded my yarn needle and first we need to close this hole. So I'm just gonna weave the yarn through all six stitches that are left. So there's one coming out here, then we're gonna go here, in and out. This is gonna be the bottom of the pumpkin so it doesn't need to look perfect. There we go, and we'll just do one more. And we're just going to pull that nice and tight create some ridges. So to do this, we're going to start from the center of the bottom of the pumpkin. So you can see I kind of ended on the side here. So I'm going to come back just to about here. All right. And we're going to go in and up to the very center of the top. This is going to get us set up for our ridges. All right, so to do this, we're just gonna bring the yarn down and we're gonna go back through those same spaces we just did, bottom to top. We're gonna do this five times around. So I'm just gonna position it kind of in between the puff stitches. I don't really wanna go on the puff stitches. 
bottom to top and then pull it tight and for this one we're going to do a ridge about every two stitches so before i pull it all the way tight i can always reposition and make sure that the ridge is going right where I want it to go. Number two. This is going to be three. Always make sure to go in that center stitch. That's got a little far over, so I'm going to bring it back and pull tight. Okay, there we go. Two more left to do. And last one. It's not going to work out perfectly because we did have nine stitches around. So this last one, you just kind of want to space it out as best you can. There we go. All right, so there's our, you can see we have one, two, three, four, and five. So now we just need to make the stem. So the stem is extremely fast and you just wanna leave a small end for sewing later. Make your slip knot. And we're gonna chain five and then slip stitch in the second chain from our hook. And the next three chains. And that's it. Just gonna cut that and sew it onto the pumpkin. Now to attach this, we've just threaded one side and we're gonna go straight down the middle from top to bottom this time. I'm gonna pull that nice and tight and we're just gonna pull it down okay and then we're going to do the same thing with the other end and we want to again go in the center because if we go too far on the side it's going to look just a little bit off so we're going to try to move it a bit find that center once again come out the base and you can see now how it kind of looks a bit better and then we want to pull that very tightly and you can see it kind of anchors it down and curves it a little bit which gives it more of the right length and it kind of looks like it's down in there which is exactly what we want so from here you're just going to weave in these ends you can tie a little knot at the base if you want to for weaving in ends i just like to go through the pumpkin a few times and cut it off so that's all there is to making a teeny tiny crocheted pumpkin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And again, make sure to subscribe to make sure you see the larger one, which is very similar. The stem is the exact same process for attaching. We just have a few more increases in there to make it bigger. I hope I'll see you in this video, but for now, 